yeah, we're doing a vlog. We're doing a weekly vlog, you guys. So I will just keep you guys in tune with some of the things that I do on a weekly basis. And that's mostly nothing. <laughs> but hopefully we get into some fun stuff in this vlog. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just going to make up my bed because I'm going to take a shower and start getting ready for work. But yeah, stay tuned. You know what they say about the grass. What you water that's on grow. So I made it grow. I'm pretty much done. Only thing I have to do when I get home in the morning is clean the stove again. There's like some spots there and I'm gonna pass a mop and yeah, that'll be all. 
so I'm about to take a shower as I told you guys. Um, let me just know if any of you do this. Like, do you light a candle when you're about to get in the shower? I have this really cute one from, actually it's from Dollar Tree. It just says, Namaste. I think that's so cute. And it looks so cute with this little rock fountain thing I have here. And it smells like mahogany, which is one of my favorite scents of literal all time. So yeah. Just sets the mood, makes me feel really zen, and then I'll play some really nice music. And yeah, show time. Bye. <sighs> Finally done getting ready. This is oil on my neck, by the way, not sweat. Finally done getting ready for work. Just waiting on my cab slash Uber right now. Um, it's about two minutes away. I look so sweaty, but I promise you it's facial oils. Yeah, so I'm just wearing this t-shirt. It says, watch your own back, period. So I'm just chilling right now, waiting for like two minutes until my cab gets here, and yeah. So I'm gonna get to work. I'm not gonna vlog at work, so I'll talk to you guys in the morning when I'm about to get off of work. And yeah, you guys will follow me along through my day, see what my morning is like tomorrow. Hopefully something interesting, I don't know. But yeah, stay tuned, love you guys, later. Five minutes until I clock out and go home. Exhausted and exhausted and exhausted. But um, yeah. Almost done. Almost time to go home and get some rest. So. So, whole new person here. <laughs> I just did my makeup so I can try to get some content for my Instagram. I did this like fall type of like um, smoky eye. Nothing crazy, nothing too crazy in anyway. here. I'm just loving this headband wig from Love Me Here. I have a code, a coupon code for you guys to get 20% off. So, use my code, it's Natoya20, and you can get. 20% off not only the headband wigs but anything from their website. Filling this hair though. <laughs> so I'm trying to get some pictures and then I'll be back. <sighs> so finally done taking pictures. I got a decent picture. I'm not obsessed with it, but it's cute. Um, follow me on Instagram for like, you know, just keeping up with me. Shameless plug. I'll pop in a picture, the picture right here. Oh, the picture was, it's a cute picture, cute picture. Um, and the lashes that I'm wearing, I forgot to mention, are from Adore Lux Lash. These are like for the baddies that love to rock the 25mm. Like, 
this is the lash brand to go with. And like the band is super thick. It's really, really good quality. Like you're good to go. Like she has three styles, I think. She, yeah, she has three styles that she started off with. Three completely different styles that you can get three different looks from. So check them out. Um, <sighs> yeah. So now I'm just gonna clean back up my mess. I have right there. My makeup. Um, take the makeup off. Take a shower. Kind of clean up my room a little bit. Um, and yeah, cause I have, I think I have a couple other things to do besides content for Instagram. I can't remember what, but yeah. Let's get into it. I'm gonna get into it, and I'll talk to you guys in a few. I'm really loving this headband wig, though, y'all. I'll also link the video for how I applied this headband wig and how I got it to look so natural and down in the description box below. I'll also probably pop up with like an eye card somewhere at the top of the screen here for you guys to see that because it was like literally a 15 minute process. Like, and this type of wig, no strain on my edges whatsoever. And I have been struggling with hair loss. Some edges, some of the tight, um, tight braids, uh, all the wigs and the glue. So if you are like me and you were struggling, then headband wigs is a good little like, you know, way to go for something that's cute and to give your hair a break, give your edges a break. So yeah, stay tuned. Love you guys. You could be like, my opponent can have that in his hand and be like, nah. That's so crazy. I can activate her or her first. But whichever one I activate, last is the one that's gonna get negated like this bitch. So I gotta, oh, I gotta make sure it's not they, the strongest one. Not, it's not in the hand. Yeah. So I'm gonna activate her first. So. If you guys remember what these type of cards were for, <laughs> like this video. Right, right. All my fellow nerds. Right, right, right. <laughs> So today is Friday. Um, I didn't vlog at all yesterday. It was just not really a good day, honestly. But um, right now I'm just walking to my mom's house because I'm gonna help her do some cleaning and moving some furniture around. Um, yeah, but before I do that, I'm also gonna sit in that nice store because I need to get like, to see if they have these type of like mugs that I'm looking for. So, for like coffee and stuff. And the last time I got my Irish tea mugs, which I love, were from here. So I'm gonna check them out again before I decide to spend money on Amazon and shipping and risk the fact that it might come broken. So I'm about to go to the 99 cent store really quickly and then I'm gonna head to my mom's house.
Hey guys, so I am finally home after the night and I so went to my mom's house for a couple hours and yeah, I'm home so I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the night and so nothing crazy, just a couple things that I needed for the kitchen. So I got this 10 piece and my little mother came to my house. This is how I wanted. Something I wanted company that makes me happy and it makes me happy. But yeah, so I got this 10 piece bowl set because we needed some Tupperware. Um, and I got two. So just white because you know, I'm a minimalist. I want everything to look the same, clean. And it was $6.99 for the 10 piece bowl. So it's a really good price. I got two of those. I'm probably going to get this another bowl set, but like a larger bowl set. Um, and I got. Mason jars for like iced tea, iced coffee, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have that um, set up by the coffee bar. You guys will see because I ordered like a espresso latte machine. So your girl is about to be official, and it's supposed to be coming in tomorrow. So when it comes, I'll show you guys that too. But I think I'm gonna leave this out in the like coffee bar station. So it's just these mason jars with the little straw piece. It came with straws, but the straws are blue. I'm not gonna use these straws. I'm not gonna hold you guys. I'm probably just gonna use the silver metal straws that I had bought. I'll show you guys. These silver metal straws that I had bought from Amazon a while ago, I'll probably use these because it matches and it just, it's way more aesthetically pleasing. They're a little too long though. But I'm also gonna buy some glass straws, the clear ones from Amazon. So, but yeah, I'm just gonna throw these out so I'm not even tempted to put it there because it's just, it's not aesthetically decent at all. So I got four of these and I think it was $7.99. So that's a really good price in my opinion. Oh um, yeah, so I got the bowl set, I got four of these. And these are actually kind of cool because they're like the chalkboard one and it came with chalk so you could write like if you have a, uh, macchiato, a latte, iced tea, so really cute. I thought that was cute. And has a little chalk, and of course, you can always order chalk from Amazon. Go to the 99 cent store. Like, that's an easy fix if it, when it runs out. But yeah, I just thought that was really cute. So, these are the mason jars. And then these bowls that I got. I also got from the same 99 cent store, not today, but I had gotten them a while ago these Irish tea mugs, which I love. That 99 cent store is fire. So yeah, that's that. I also got these from the 99 cent store. They have my, I think this one has my pumpkin spice syrup in it for my coffees. And that's zero calorie by the brand. I think it's Skinny Gal. I'll like pop it up on the screen. And then this one is the vanilla brand, um, the vanilla flavor, so yeah. I cannot wait to set up my coffee station and I'm gonna put this little plaque on the wall. It's gonna be so cute when it's done. All of this bar stuff is gonna move because I'm getting a bar table and I'm gonna put it in this section of the kitchen because it's just a really blank open space and we have space for that. I just have to find the perfect bar table, bar height table with two stools. And yeah, so this is gonna move and the coffee section is gonna be right here and it's just gonna be so zen and so perfect. And I went to the beauty supply store, so that's why I have like lipstick on my hand. But yeah, that's that. So I'm about to just shower. We're about to shower and just watch some TV and yes. relax for the rest of the night. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow if the espresso machine comes tomorrow. It should, because Amazon says it will and it usually is on time, but you never know. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you. Tell them bye. Please uh, uh, subscribe, like, and the notification bell. Period. <laughs> hey guys, so it is currently 7.09 p.m. Saturday and my package just came with my espresso machine. So I'm excited to show you guys what it's looking like because we about to be official in here. Um, Yeah, so huh, I can't breathe y'all. This is so exciting for me, you guys, because and I could have simply gotten, just gotten a, a milk frothing machine because the reason why I bought this is honestly because I really like the froth that we on top of lattes, either it's hot or cold. And I could have bought a frothing machine, but for me, coffee is not just about 
coffee, but it's really about the experience. Because honestly, just having a sip of coffee, having it in my hand, watching it brew, like that's little things like that just make my day more enjoyable. So just having a cup of coffee is more so about the experience for me. So that's why I bought the espresso machine because it's gonna amplify my experience, you know? So, and this one is actually really, really affordable. Normally, coffee espresso machines, if you, you can find one cheap, for two hundred dollars that's cheap and this one i found it for a hundred dollars and had great reviews so i will link it down in the description box below for you guys if you're interested to pop up a espresso latte machine if you're a latte girl if you're a cappuccino girl if you're a coffee girl you can get into it look at it i have an espresso machine so cute you guys and this you just press the button for making espresso this is the button for milk frothing and then you have the milk frothing nozzle on the side right here so that's that you bring it in when you're not using it yeah it's a small one this is very much beginner friendly latte making like you know as I get better and stuff like that I'm going to upgrade to you know something something just a little bit more like professional but this is really good for my beginning, you know, because I'm just beginning. So that's really cool and excited about that. So yeah, and something else that I got, kind of coffee related, I'm not gonna hold you. I got this with coffee in mind because like I said, coffee is about the experience. I got these ice trays, they're silicone mold ice trays from Amazon. And the reason why I got them is because the cubes are like perfectly cubed and they're very big. And they also came with spheres. So you can get really, really big spheres of ice to put in your cup and you can get the really nice cubes. And I feel like that's super aesthetic reason. So I know I'm doing too much, just a little bit. But like I said, coffee is about the experience for me. So if these little things will add to my enjoyment and the experience, I'm gonna do just that. But yeah. Let me just take this out and show you guys what it looks like. And I have hair dye, I forgot to mention, I have hair dye in my hair right now because I was dying a wig and I have some extra hair dye, so it's like I might as well instead of wasting it. But yeah, so cute. And I love that it's black. Like, I'm literally so big on aesthetics. Literally everything has to be an aesthetic for me. I don't care what it is. Like a pot spoon has to go with the aesthetic. Period. Like I'm not nice. But yeah, um, and it has to be functional as well. So, and this is functional because you can get ice from it, and it's aesthetically pleasing because like it's cute ice. Like, look at these cubes. Do you know how huge these ice cubes are gonna be? Like, I need to get another one that's smaller, but this one is like so perfect for like a really nice big Dalgona, big macchiato, and then it has the spheres, so you can get really nice big balls of ice, and the spheres came with this little funnel, so when you're filling it up, you know, just make it easier on yourself, that's definitely necessary. Um, so yeah, super cute, super cool, super aesthetically pleasing, because like you guys know, my kitchen is black and white. And then I forgot to show you guys, so when I went shopping with my mom at another 99 cent store, discount store, we found the cutest little um, kitchen, like, you know the things that they, the kitchen things that they wear over their, themselves, the aprons, we found a cute apron, it's black and white, let me show you guys. Super cute and super minimalist, that's why I liked it. It literally just has kitchen on it. So cute! And it's in this really nice, like, um, water resistant material, so it's easy to clean. And I just thought that was super cute because when I want to make my cute little videos and stuff like that, quality. Okay? So. That's gonna be the ending of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed my little week in my life. Uh, I am planning to do more of these on a consistent basis so I can have a source of consistency on my channel. And I really love watching vlogs. So yeah, if I love watching vlogs and I'm 
aiming to reach out to people like me. My ideal follower, my ideal subscriber is someone like me. So I'm gonna push out content that I would like to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next weekly vlog and remember to stay true to yourself and just continue to love yourself in this time that the world is experiencing right now. No matter what it is, every day try to do something that you love and try to do something that makes you feel fulfilled because child, the world is ready to tear you down. So you gotta be real strong on the inside. And that's what I'm trying to do for myself right now. Yeah, love you guys so much. Bye. Jaden, come say bye. Later. Later. Subscribe, <laughs> like, and leave a and hit notification. Start your own channel. No, please.